All right, and as we get into the first game now of our tournament, we have the Turk Squad on the blue side, and we have the Sega Boys on the red side. Nisso now already going for some fancier plays, but again, that is exactly what I was talking about pre-match, was their positioning is going to be such where they're going to have to take quick shots like that. With like, Of course, I say that Electric City just comes and dumps one into the top right corner. But in general speaking, they're going to be in the right position 90% of the time. So if they're in the right position, those flashier plays that take longer, take more boost, are just going to become ineffective as time goes off. Nisso here with a solid win on the kickoff, puts this one up into the corners, looking for Electric City, but Electric City goes low, Disso pushes it high to avoid the defender, and now we see Randy on the attack, we do see a two-on-one situation, Randy with the air dribble bump pushes him in, again just perfect positioning, Randy being in the right spot at the right time to be able to catch that, and oh my goodness that bump! Disso probably watching that replay going, what the heck was that? We go one and one. 432 left on the clock. Electric City now doing something a little flashy. He's got the flipper set. But again, that positioning is there. But oh my goodness, speaking of positioning, watch where Disso comes from here. Disso read this the entire way down the field. He just knew. He was almost supersonic before that ball even started coming his way. He knew. That is what you call practice. That man has been practicing 100% for this situation. Randy now with a good pre-jump. Randy does a great job there, just kind of disrupting the flow, but Electric City stays with it and is able to just push this one over into the far right post and in. And what a crazy pinch here, as that really was like a 50 with the wall in both of the the enemy teams it's just very interesting that it wound up going towards the goal but that's just how it goes this is rocket league after all a dead kickoff here but electric city is all over it again electric city just being absolutely aggressive at the start of this match and it's proving to pay dividends at the moment going in for bumps disrupting randy so randy feels uncomfortable a really great job here stealing boost uh, if it were if i was to call this match right now and i just walked in and watched this and didn't see the score i would be able to guess that the Sigga boys would be up but here we go as mike goes ahead with a nice bump here to push this one into center. Pops that one over Electric City's head and now it's a one score game with 344 left on the clock. One thing that's really gonna decide these next couple scores is gonna be these kickoffs. And again, Randy hits that one, but oh my goodness, how does Disso even know to be there? That's the second time Disso has been supersonic going towards the ball before the balls even hit his leg. He just knew he went up on that wall and was ready. And now he's got control. He does have a fair amount of boost, but Mike comes in and absolutely annihilates him out of the play. Mike now with a pre-jump, scary pre-jump. Electric City just wants to keep this one awkward. Does a great job just staying in the way. Gets it past one defender. Both defenders now, one to beat. 
Electric City beams this one in the air. Disso does a pre-jump. This is gonna be a scary situation, but Randy is there and aware of what's happening as he comes flying in from the corner. Didn't get that boost like he wanted, but that's okay. The save is better than the boost. Now Disso on the attack here has plenty of boost to work with, although Randy is not gonna give him the time to get set up for that air dribble attempt he wanted. And that's just gonna lead to a dead ball here. Unless Electric City has something up his sleeve, and he does not. Again, Disso and Electric City just keeping that pressure on. One thing to notice, though, is that they're dangerously low on boost. And if they keep this up for too long, eventually the other team will push this one over, and Turk Squad will get an amazing opportunity at a shot. As we see Disso being very careful to give Electric City enough time to get back and get boost. Great shot from Electric City here. Even better clear, but this is coming right back towards Mike's face. Mike puts this one up into the air, but Disso's going to want to control this, slow this down a bit. Great pass into Electric City. Electric City whiffs a little bit. Good bump there to disrupt Randy's play. Randy had a really good setup there for an air dribble. Mike now just going to play this one safely around the side. Knows he has time left. Doesn't need to go for anything extravagant yet. Yeah. Disso and Electric City, a little bit of a miscommunication there, but they fixed it. Disso moving out of the way so Electric City can go on the attack. And here comes a shot on net with Disso pushing this one up into the top crossbar. And oh my goodness, that goal could not have come at a better time as it looked like Mike and Randy were starting to just get into the flow in this match. One thirty-seven left. Mike opting for the delayed kickoff. Electric City there for the delayed kickoff. Excellent. Shot on net, and Randy is just not able to get there in time. I'm sorry, Mike is just not able to get there in time as Disso just slaps this one in. And that's going to be a three-goal game. One thing that I need to start seeing from the Turf Squad is a little bit more physical aggression. They need to start demos. They need to start pushing their teammates, their, their opponents, so that they're not so comfortable. Right now, Disso and Electric City look like they have all day to set something up. They need to slow that progression down. And here we go. Here's a shot opportunity. Disso pre-jumps it. Gets above. Randy is able to push this one into the corner. And this is going to be a dangerous situation now. Oh my goodness. Disso does a great job just waiting it out. Waiting to see what that opponent was going to do with the ball first before attacking. Disso now setting up something special. He wants the double. Doesn't quite get it. Electric City finds himself a little bit pushed up too far. And that's going to make this harder. But oh my goodness what a close shot. Oh my gosh as much as I would love to see that go in I'm glad it doesn't as there's only 39 seconds left for the Turk squad to come back with some semblance of competitiveness I you a pie. oh boy what flavor pie flavor this one goes over and with 20 seconds left I just don't think that Turk squad has enough in them here to be able to get this one back to equalized we, I believe, are looking at our first winners of this tournament so far. The Sigga Boys confidently moving on to the next round of the round robin here. And now we just play the classic game of Rule 2, Rule 1, depending on what era of Rocket League you come from. Keep the ball up until you can anymore, and there it is. Disso gets another one in. 6-2. Great job by the Turt Squad. I think that if they had been just slightly more aggressive on the pitch, getting a little bit more in the, their opponent's face, they may have fared a little bit better. But I'm sure we'll be seeing them later on.